Hello, in this video we are going to look at 4D modeling workflow with Synchro Pro. We are going to start by exporting an iModel from Open Building Designer. iModel is a container of beam information along with 3D model. To export iModel, we first open the model in Open Buildings and then go to Files, then Publish iModel. We select the location for the exported i model turn on the following options and finally publish i model once the i model is published we open synchro pro and now we are going to import the i model to import i model we go to files and then import and then i click on 3d then i select the i model Next, next, import. We make sure that this is a resource and the resource type is material. Finally, after importing, we can see it by turning it from the 3D objects. Next, we will import the Microsoft Project Schedule. We can go to Files. import and select Microsoft Project XML and select the corresponding schedule next import and finally we can see the task and the corresponding Gantt chart next we are going to assign some resources to its corresponding task remember each element of the model is treated as a resource here before assigning, we first flatten the view by right click in 3D display and selecting the isometric. Then, we select the required resources by left click and dragging. The selected resources are highlighted. We isolate the selected resources by going to Assign Resource tab and then Isolate Selected. Note, in left, the selected resources are highlighted in yellow. To assign, we can simply drag and drop the selected items to its corresponding task. Now, we move the focus time in Gantt chart to see the change with time. We go back to full model display by selecting show all. Similarly, we assign the next set of resources by selecting and then drag and drop. Now, we will assign the plane beams to its corresponding task. First, we select and isolate. Once selected, we can deselect all by pressing escape. Now, we select the individual plane beam by left clicking. Again, we drag and drop to assign the task. In Synchro Pro, we can edit existing tasks or add new tasks. Next, we are going to see that I will add a new task under currently selected task that is ground floor slab. To do this, I go to plan and then select as child. Observe, a new task is added. I name it as slab 1. And then I add another one. I name it slab 2. We can check predecessors and successors of a task by going to task property and then link. Note, this is only for the task ground for slab. We have to add links to the newly created task. To create a link, we have to select the task sequentially in the way we want their order. The sequence needed here is first plint beam, then slab 1 and slab 2, and last concrete column. After selection, I click on link as chain. I change the duration as per requirement. Then 
I removed the links from the parent task since we have already added the link for the child tasks. Now I click on reschedule to see the change reflected in the Gantt chart. Appearance profile provides an indication of how a particular resource is used in Synchro project. To create a new appearance profile, I go to Assign Resource tab and then Appearance Profile. I create a new appearance profile by right clicking and then Add. I give it a name called Slab. We can see various options related to appearance. Now, I change the growth simulation. Growth simulation controls the animation during construction to give it a realistic view. Here, I select the options left to right. I choose the color. Note that slab is the active appearance profile now. Now, I assign the task and the resource by selecting them and then right click assign to selected task. Let's look at the simulation. Synchro can automatically assign resource sets to its corresponding task for a given rule. This is called auto matching. To do this, we go to assign resource tab and select resources to task. I create a new rule and name it auto assign. I want to create a rule where unassigned resources will be automatically assigned to the task without any assignment if and only if the name of the task and the resource is same. So I tick ignore assigned resources and ignore task with assignments and add. I want it to be applicable for all the material resources. I choose substring and then finally I save and OK. Before searching, I choose the appearance profile. Now let's search. After search, it gives a list of matching resources with task. To complete assignment, I click on assign all. Now we see all the assigned tasks. Let's have a look at the simulation. Now we will see a new way of assigning tasks. This time the child tasks will be automatically added for the selected resources. So to do this I click resources one by one. The order of selection dictates the order of task creation. Now I select the task below which new child tasks will be added. And then I select create task from assign resource tab. I choose under selected task. The newly created task will automatically have links between them. But we still have to add link with the old task. Before that, the old redundant linkage are removed. Now I will add links with predecessor task and successor task. Next, we will do equipment planning. First, I import this equipment as 3D element. We choose the equipment. And we make sure the right options are selected. And then finally import it as an equipment resource. I turn on the display of the equipment from 3D object tab. Now we can see the equipment, but it is not on the right level. To bring it in the right level, the equipment need to be selected first. And then we select the reference object based on which it will be aligned. Now I go to 3D property and select align. We can see the equipment almost in the right level. We can further fine tune its location by using simple manipulator located in 3D tab. 
we can see the three axis to move it in three direction after fine-tuning its location now I will assign this equipment resource I want appearance profile to be temporary because an equipment only stay during construction now I assign it to the roof slab let's see how it looks Next, we are going to see how we can calculate quantities based on the beam information. We first add the column for physical quantity in task to see the quantities. So I right click on the header and go to customize columns. And now I add columns related to physical quantity. We can see the columns related to physical quantities added. We use a synchro script that will automatically calculate the physical quantities of the resource assigned to the selected task. The quantities calculated will be based on the beam information that came along with the I model import. To run the script, we go to project control and then synchro script. I right click and add a new script and then Finally, paste an already existing synchro script code. Then we click preview to see the result. And finally, we hit run to apply the script. Now we can see the physical quantity for the selected task. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.